What's up guys, Dar Sizzle from Dar Sizzle Offshore here. And in today's video, I show you how to fillet a big bull dolphin. The biggest dolphin I've caught this year of the 2020 season. I caught this fish deep sea fishing out of Stewart, Florida in 90 feet of water. And we were free lining live pilchards on the surface. Check this out and make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I open up the stomach and find some really cool stuff. Let's get right to it. Alrighty folks, we got our big bull mahi here. I am so thrilled I've got him. Sorry guys, it's a nice hot day out here today. But here is our stud bull mahi. So thrilled that we got this fish in the boat. And thrilled that I put out that extra line. And that was the only reason why we caught this beautiful fish. So he has been iced down properly, properly taken care of. Of course, it's the next day for me. I really want to make sure they're nice and cold when it's time to fillet these bad boys and show you how I like to fillet a giant bull mahi. Fish so nice, they named it twice. Mahi mahi, dorado, dolphin. Those are all the common names that I'm aware of. But this fish can be found in most oceans around the world. They're very uh, popular fish around the world. The number one fish in restaurants. This is a fish everybody loves to eat. It's a great all around fish. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. I'm using my nine inch blade today from Smith's Consumer Products. And this is a really affordable knife, by the way, and it holds an edge, it holds a wicked edge like you will not believe. As long as you just make sure you keep it sharp, sharp over time, this is a great affordable knife. So just go ahead and check them out, but you'll see right now when we get to work on this fish. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a cut right here behind the peck fin. And then I'm gonna start angling that knife up. These fish, especially the males with the broad head, they have so much head meat here. You really do not want to waste that meat. Take advantage of it. You see that cut? See what I just did? You go all the way up. This is all meat right here. Do that on every bull mahi. The cows, they have, head in their, they have meat in their head too, but they don't have this broad head like this guy does. And he uses this broad head to keep himself down in the water. And if you saw that video of us fighting that fish, when he got to the boat, he started diving down and he stayed down. And he's got this broomstick tail that helps him keep himself down along with that big broad head. He uses that to his advantage. All right, so now we're just gonna take that knife and slide it right underneath the edge of the skin here all the way down. Just like so, to go through the tail, pop that out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some cuts here, just basically lifting up the edge of my finger and using that blade and keeping it right along the edge here, on the edge of the bones. And we're just gonna work that down. Take our time, there's no rush, no competition. We just wanna make sure we do this right and get as much of his meat as we possibly can. We are probably not gonna eat this fish all by ourselves, but we will be sharing with a ton of people. And I'm so excited to cook this in the house because I am absolutely starving. And it's always a good feeling when you catch your own fresh fish and take care of it and know that it's super fresh and then have an amazing fish dinner. Life doesn't get much better than this. So now up here by the head, just make sure, make sure I get all the way in there. There we go. And then just keep working that knife down. I don't really need a look. I could just feel what I'm doing here. And now I've hit the broad spine bone. I also wanna show you real fast as to why I don't like to rip the skin off these fish. I know that's all what you're gonna tell me in the comments below and that's a great way to do it. You can rip the skin off right now and take care of that. But this is why I don't wanna do it, watch. So I'm gonna take the head meat here, start ripping it. Do you see what's happening here? Do you see like these little fibers? You see that stays on the meat? Watch, if I pull it down a little more, See that, those fibers? I don't believe in that. I do not believe in ripping the skin off a of mahi. I don't like how that tastes. It doesn't even look pretty. So for me personally, I always don't like to rip the skin off. That's why, that's why I don't like to do it. So with my own personal preference, you can go ahead and rip it off if you prefer. I know a lot of people like to do it that way, especially with mahi, but I just don't. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. And because this is a bigger fish too, now that I've got this first half filleted, I'm off of the fish. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cut right down the middle and we're just gonna run that blade all the way down. I'm right along the spine here. Right along the spine. And that way you got a nice big cut here. Just make sure it's opened up. And now I can just separate the top loin. That way I'm not working with this big gigantic fillet because when he gets to this size, he gets a little awkward to work with. So now that I've cut that, I wanna cut the pin bones up right here by the head. 
There we go. And then we're just gonna slowly lift this off the fish. Just like so. And then again, I just said that the spine bone, it really protrudes up high. So you just wanna angle your knife down and get that, all that meat off. There we go. There's that first side, top loin, just like that. And that makes it way easier to work with. You got the top loin off of the fish, nice and clear. There's our gas shot, which is not a big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and clear that little bit of meat off that section there. But then the same exact thing down here. Now that I removed the top loin, we're just gonna go angle the knife back down because he has a really protruding spine bone, like I said. And then angle, it got a little bit of a flex in this blade, which I like. And I can use that to get down on this fish. But you can see how sharp this knife is. It's doing its job, it's got a nice sharp edge. Again, a dull knife is always da more dangerous and you will cut yourself than a sharp knife. You always want your knife super sharp. And then up here, of course, the pin bones, but also rib cage bones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the knife above those rib cage bones because I don't wanna open up the stomach. Not yet, at least. Start cutting down. Just like so, keeping all that intact. And there's our top loin. Boom. Two beautiful fish flays of this beautiful mahi. We'll just push him out of the way for a second. But there we go. There's our bottom and top loins. And now that I split them down the middle too, you can really see that bloodline as well. So we're just gonna knock this out real quick. Let me show you. And now that he's split, it's also easier to skin for me because I don't like to, to rip it off like I just told you. So just take that, go underneath. I like to keep my hand down here as I work. Keep it close to you. Made a little bit of a mistake there, but what you can do is you can flip it over. And just do the same exact thing on the other side. They do have very thin skin and they have tiny scales. So they're not like the toughest fish in the world to fillet. But again, you just want a sharp knife to get the job done correctly on this fish. All right, there we go. There's our beautiful filet, and then again, we're just gonna trim out this red bloodline because I don't like to eat it personally. Some people, some of you guys might like to eat it. It's a little on the fishy side, but we just don't. We are blessed to have an awesome life and catch some awesome fish, and I don't really need to eat that bloodline. But you get the point. So we just got that off there. We can trim up the rest in the house before pudding cooks it for us but I am thrilled to share this with you guys. And you can see right here, even where I ripped it, it still left a little bit of skin, a little bit of fibers there. And that's just the main reason why. I just don't like how it tastes. It's just my preference. So if you ever have ripped it off in the past, try to skin it and see if it makes a difference for you. We're gonna cut this into manageable pieces. And also don't forget about my code, Darcy, Darcizzle15 for 15% off your purchase, plus free shipping on smithsproducts.com's website. Bonus footage, I am checking the stomach of this mahi-mahi. Just got done with the other side of him. He's all filleted up. And I wanna check out the stomach because you always can learn something from their stomachs, what they're eating out there. And this fish, I know he actually inhaled my hook because we put him in the rod holder while we were fighting our other fish. So I'm gonna probably find my bait in here and hopefully my hook as well. But I just opened up the stomach. See what we got. Look at that couple of our pilchards. That is our pilchards right there. You just see how they came out head first. The head came out first. They eat them eating their head first. They don't eat them by the tail first. They eat them by the head. So always think about that when you're trolling offshore. They eat your ballyhoo or any kind of bait you have by the head. They grab that first. So that was cool to learn. And that looks like it. A bunch of other stuff in there. Ooh, that's like a little puffer fish. See all the little spines on it? Hold on. Yeah, some kind of puffer fish. I don't know if you can see the spines all over that thing. Pretty wicked. But that guy was very hungry. Ate two of our pilchards. Oh wait, there's more in here. Yep. See what this is. He ate another one of our pilchards. How many pilchards of ours did he eat? Wow. And you can see how those baits aren't, you know, aren't um, decayed by his stomach yet. So you know, he died shortly after he ate those. But Pretty wild, he ate three of our pilchards. I only thought he ate one. And I think that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two from how I filleted this big fish. Go ahead and comment down below. And until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.